This is module one, lesson 13. Today's objective was to interpret the quotient as the number of groups or the number of objects in each group using units of three. Number one, fill in the blanks to make true sen number sentences. Two times three equals six. Six divided by three would be the opposite of that, meaning that I would have six total, three is my size, which gives me two groups. Next I have one group of three. One group of three is just three. Moving that number down, I have three divided by three equals one. Use skip counting to help you fill in the missing numbers for the next two boxes. Number two, Miss Galette's pet fish are shown below. She keeps three fish in each tank. Letter A, circle to show how many fish tanks she has. Then skip count to find the total number of fish. It tells me that she keeps three fish in a tank. So I'm going to circle groups of three. That's one tank of fish, two tanks of fish, three tanks of fish, four tanks of fish, five tanks of fish. Next, I need to skip count how many to find out how many fish she has. Here are three. Then we have three more, six. Three more, nine. Three more, 12. And the last three, 15. She has 15 fish. Part B, draw and label a tape diagram to represent the problem. To start my tape diagram, I'm going to draw a large rectangle. This rectangle is going to represent 15 fish. At the bottom, I also have to label how many tanks there are. When I look at the picture above, I see I have five groups of fish. So that tells me there are five tanks. I'm going to divide my array or my tape diagram into five equal groups. Next, I'm gonna look at my groups that I have circled above. And I see in the groups above that there are three fish in each group. So I'm going to put three dots into each group. Those three dots are representing three fish. Use that tape diagram to help you fill in the missing numbers in the problem. 